Hello again, it's Ahmed Sami with a new video about the next version of 3D Primitives Generator. It's now a version 2.0. So right off the bat, it's a redesigned UI with taps now, cube and cuboid, and another one for the cylinder. The, the cylinder, about, uh, it's the same function, the same old function, just a redesigned UI and more organized than the, the previous version, version 1. Uh, the git and apply functions are the same. Uh, they are now just x and y instead of uh, width and length. The cube and cuboid is now x, y and z instead of height, width and length. We do have now a taper function, a new taper function, top and down. We will get to that soon. And the redesign generate from values button and the mighty new function generates from faces and we will get to that so let's just start with the basics let's do a cube hit generate and the table is top now hit generate a cube will be generated with a naming and now a folder for 3d primitive generator objects all of the folders that will be generated from the script will be organized into the same one folder so if we dive into this cube we will find a primitive one controller which is a null object with a effects let's lock this down and go back to see the changes in real time so full um, now we do have a taper controls and faces controls faces controls is about coloring Just a normal color picker for each single face you can play with that however you desire and uh, The taper controls is the most important one because it's the new and very fast and useful tool the taper value would be a or you can call it a function uh, sorry or you can call it a uh, unfolding value if it's increased the cube will be folded and unfolded and if if it's decreased it would be a taper effect so let's make it a uh, minus 10 now the front and back let's do a uh, front view to see the taper effect and to see what will happen into the into these sliders front and back will control the top left and top right for the front and back faces so it's now 250 let's reduce that and you as you can see we can now control the taper effect to make a perfect taper so that would be just about that and since we are in a cube a perfect cube we can do the same with a uh, right and left will control the top left and top right for the faces right and left let's make it the same and as you can see now we do have a nice taper effect with oversized top now the oversized top, let's make a top view. We have to resize that. Uh, no, before that, let's do a front. And as you can see, the top is uh, above, far from the uh, from the position of the because of the table. The top is now above. So there is a slider called top position to reduce that and make it exactly on the top nope yep and now we do have a top the top scale x and the top scale y we have just to resize it and the same for the y since it's a perfect cube 
let's do now a custom view yep we do have now a cube with taper effect very light and easy and extremely fast to do let's now do a another one with another dimensions and the down enable so hide this and unlock this let's make it a 50 500 and uh, 700 and 300 and now with the taper down selected hit generate and the cuboid now will be generated with the same effect let's lock it and do a taper and the colors now the taper as you notice uh, down position down scale x down scale y the naming are now changed because the down is selected so the same old thing about the top the same here yet it controls from the down it's unfolding and doing a taper effect from the down faces so let's make it about five and do the same thing from the front selected front and back will control the down now down right and down left for the front and back and the right and left faces will be down right and down left as well so let's reduce that yep just like that and it wouldn't be the same because we have now different dimensions so you have to make it manually uh, that's why you have a bunch of functions let's do a left and uh, about that's about it here we have a now we we will get to the down face the down position and now the scale and y let's do a bottom view so we can see the scale scale x or the and the scale y not too perfect yet you get the point now the custom view we do have an object with a down taper now both of these are available and both of them are now a uh, all combined with distinct faces and distinct compositions just like the last uh, they have, just like the previous version you can edit any face you desire the way you want so that's basically about the cube and cuboid basic generate function it's the it's just a, a new taper effect with the new controls now and extremely fast and easy to do now let's get to generate from faces the generate from faces function can generate a cube or a cuboid for selected six layers any kind of layers text solids shapes compositions anything all you need is to select six layers with the proper naming for each one so that the script knows which is which and these six small buttons are here to help front back left right top and down each one will rename the selected layer or layers to the assigned letter so if you select three layers for example and hit f the names of these layers will be changed in a way that the script will know that this layer is now a proper face for the object you are about to generate okay enough talking let's see that in action i have six basic shapes just like that shape one two three six and i want each one of the, these to be a face for the cube i i'm about to create if i select this and hit f look at that a renamed layer is now here from faces primitive front the script now knows that this is a front this 
for example, I want it to be a back from faces primitive, primitive back, and so on. You can select any layer you want. If you have a, uh, if you want to create, for example, six cubes and you have six faces, six backs, six uh, right, six left, any that, and all of that, just select those all faces if those all are the front and hit f all of these will be a front now for this function to work you need a selected six layers with a proper naming a proper naming i mean each one of them is each one of these this front back left right top and down so let's hit Control Z and name them properly this time. This is a front. This is a back. This left. This right. This top. This down. Now you are good to go. Yet before we, we do that, know that this function will benefit from the taper top and down here. So if you select a top, there will be a top taper controllers. And if you select the down, you will get the down taper controllers. So let's make it a top and generate from faces. And a magic will happen. Your cube is now ready. With all the might of the taper controls still intact in place, this, for example, is a top. You can unfold it or make a taper. You can the top position be adjusted and you can adjust the slider for X and Y. And now you can also do the top taper from back to make it narrow and top taper right left to make it narrow and so on. Okay, and now for the car project. I do have a compositions for each part of the car. So this would be the top glass object. So I have a front, right, back, left, top, down for it. This is a normal composition. And inside there's a bunch of uh, lines and shapes and textures and gradients. Well, they're just ordinary stuff. And now, I want to show you how fast can this get to model this car if you have the right illustrations. So all of these would be front, so select all of these and hit F. All of these would be right, so select right. And these would be back, back, left will be left, and top will be top, and down will be down. Now just select all of these and hit generate. Now you do have your object. All of these are all of these other objects are disappeared because we have a custom view. Let's make it active camera and hide this and select the other object faces and hit generate. We now have that object, hide it and lastly Select those and hit generate from faces. And now we have a three objects. Now let's hit four views for you to see. Now we have this. Let's make it just black so you can see all. Okay. From the right, we need to make this up a bit. And from the top, we need to put it back so that the taxi logo can appear. And now for the other one, the smaller object, just make it here and up. Yep. And just like that. We now have one view, a custom view. We do have now a basic body of that car. 
You can do the taper now by selecting the object solo and head inside. You will see the controllers. Now just let's let's just hide the top so that we can see what are we doing front. Let's make it the taper now to align it with that line. So select the controller and lock it. Start play. Yep. Just like that. And now for the taper refinement front and back. Mm. Yep. And the same since it's a perfect cube for the right and left right here. Yep. And now the top would be this position to make it perfectly aligned. And now the top, we won't see it from here. Just hit outside one step and make the top scale now to align with these borders. So the X, yep, and the Y is the same, sorry, yep, and just like that. Now in the custom view, got all of these ready to go. And that's it. You can create any model you desire with a bunch of shapes and a bunch of dimensions. These combined of just what I've showed you. Those wheels are cylinders and those lights are cylinders. Those are cuboids, a normal one, and this one as well. And the top is tapered, a top tapered, and just like so. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you find it light, fast, and enlightening. See you in the next one.